Editing images can be tough, especially when you are a beginner. So in this video, I show you three steps to turn any photo into a banger. In the best case, you already paid a lot of attention to the crop. I call it the composition when you took the photo. But if you did not, made a mistake or there's just no other way, you can get a lot out of your picture with an appropriate crop. Just cut off unwanted areas, enlarge the subject and maybe straighten the horizon. You can do all of this with any program. Just look for the crop symbol in Lightroom, Camera Raw or Lumina to straighten the horizon and change the crop with the corners. But always keep in mind that you have to cut away information when you straighten the horizon. Therefore, don't shoot too close. Otherwise, you may cut off important areas in your image. A crop is also important for social media like Instagram because the normal portrait format of the camera is not accepted in the app. The typical format is 4x5 and you can easily adjust that with a crop tool. To make your raw photo look at least close to a JPEG photo, you always have to add contrast and color. And in every program you will find these sliders somewhere on the top. One person likes more color and the other less. You can do all of this with one slider. And you can add or remove contrast in different ways. For example, moving highlights to the left and shadows to the right takes contrast out of an image and increases dynamic range. But that doesn't always look good. Contrast is like salt in the soup and every image needs a bit of salt. You can add contrast by using the contrast slider obviously or the curves or the highlights and shadows or white and black sliders. Each of these options increase or decrease the contrast. And there's no right or wrong. Your taste decides and every image and situation is different. For portraits, for example, it makes sense to increase the contrast a bit to make it pop a bit. In landscapes, I usually reduce the contrast first and then bring it back or increase it in certain areas. And if you want to learn more about image editing, check out my full image editing courses. Link is in the description. Before we go to step number three and a bonus tip, I want to introduce you to today's sponsor of the video. Hawkland Photographer's Clothing made it their mission three years ago to develop the best jacket for photographers. And soon we'll start US shipping and have some great limited early bird discounts ready for pre-orders. Here's a sneak peek to the ad. As an outdoor photographer, you want to stay cozy and organized, even when conditions are not. That's why we created the first 7-in-1 jacket for photographers. Don't worry about the weather. Focus on what is important. Three jacket layers. Seven possible combinations for any weather. Dirty lens? Where did you put your lens cloth? It can be so simple. In the left sleeve pocket. Need a full battery, SD card or tripod plate? Take them out of your small photo bag in your jacket. A total of 27 pockets, because as a photographer, you can't have enough pockets. If you want to learn more about Hawkland, about the products, the vest, the jackets, the backpack and the gloves, um, go to hawkland.us and subscribe to the newsletter to get notified when pre-orders are ready and yeah, profit from an early bird discount. And we filmed a nine episode photography road trip documentary last year in Norway and that will be published in English language here on this YouTube channel. It's called Team Hawkland in around two to three weeks. It's completely free to watch here on this channel. All right, let's go on with number three. The last step is cleaning the image. And that might be dust spots on the lens or the camera sensor. Sometimes also maybe wet or dried raindrops or ocean spray. Maybe electricity lines that you don't like or trash or even a person standing around. Years ago, it was a bit more complicated to remove those things. Today, it's much easier. A lot of programs can clone areas with a so-called clone stamp. Just pick up some areas and simply stamp over the unwanted areas. It's even easier with a healing tool or healing brush. Just draw over the areas you want to be removed or cleaned and boom, 
gone. The software Lumina Neo even has an automatic dust spot removal and power line removal tool. It works okay. And with this mode activated in Lightroom or Camera Raw, you can see dust spots much easier than with your bare eyes. Okay, when you are done with the last step, you can of course do much more to an image, but most of the time that is totally enough. Small adjustments, big difference. Isn't it? Bonus tip. If you want to save your photo, it's called export, then always enable the automatic sharpening. No matter if you save in full resolution or if you want to reduce your picture for social media. I always choose for web or social media, JPEG, 1200 pixel longest edge, always sharpen for screen and set strength to medium. This way you can be pretty sure that your photo will not look blurry when you post it on Instagram. Did you like this video? Then hit thumbs up and at 2000 thumbs up there is a second part of the worst photography advices. You can see part one here and especially number two is pretty nasty. Subscribe to my newsletter to never miss a video again and get free Lightroom presets at learnfromben.com slash gift. Check the link in the description, subscribe now, learn from ben.com slash gift. What program do you use to edit your images? Write it in the comments below. And now go out and take some photos.